Hey now, Libra, this is Jenna Flower, checking in on what's going on with you folks, you fine folks out there. How's everybody doing? Let's see what's going on for you. Okay, we have a Nine of Swords coming in here. Um, wow, everybody's doing the same thing, all these readings. Everybody's really looking for clarity. I feel like you guys have had just some upheavals very recently here. Um, we also have this Four of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. This is kind of showing me that um, you guys know that you've built a really solid foundation here. Okay, you understand that um, you understand how to hold a base of modicum of peace, right? Like you understand this. You're just trying to work through something here. Spirit wants you to understand what you don't see is this um, huge opportunity that's going to be coming in for you. Okay, um, you're also there's going to be like a test here. Okay, is how are you going to handle this situation? Are you going to do this the way you've done it before, right? Or are you going to shift these energies here? This is like a final kind of a <coughs> final opportunity, excuse me, for you folks to, you know, really shine here. I think that you already understand that this is a period of growth for you. This could be a relationship is what I'm hearing. Okay, and you understand where your power lies. Okay, you understand. I think what you're really trying to decide is whether you want to keep this in your life or not. Okay, and you're trying to gain clarity here. We have the healer card coming out, and we also have the comic here. So, this is telling me I'm talking to people that kind of already understand what I'm talking about, first of all. You know, I'm hearing physician, heal, heal thyself. So for some of you, I feel like um, this has been this has been a situation that has taken you to the core here. Okay, taken to taking you to the core of your being, and you're trying to figure out what to hold on to, what to let go here. Okay, I want you to understand that the universe is giving you this opportunity here. Okay, um, you will get through this, um, not to forget the comic relief here. I think you're kind of integrating at the same time here. Um, you've built a sanctuary for yourself and you're starting to balance out. Okay, they are telling me to remind you to stay out of the reckless energy here. Okay, because that could be what's coming in for you that's making you feel destabilized. It could be a person. I like to think of them as energies, whether it comes in the form of a person or a situation. Okay, because it's easier sometimes for me personally to look at things as energies and deal with the energies versus adding, you know, uh, I have a lot of history with people, so that adds stuff into the mix. But it's really about energies. What energies do you want in your life? I've got all that glitters is... Um, all that glitters there, okay? And that's coming up with that Knight of Swords. So all the glitters is not gold here. They're telling you to show some discernment here. Um, you know, which energy do you, want, do you want to be in, right? This land of milk and honey or all that glitters? Okay, I'm going to ask. I have the king, man, authority, male sexual energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. So some of you might be in the middle of tr a fight over something. Um, and spirit wants you to understand that, you know, you can keep the peace here. You can keep the peace. We've also got loyalty, sincerity, and unconditional love. And this came in the reverse. So what they're trying to tell you here is... Okay, you basically need to pick what is best for you. What is best for you in this situation, in this scenario? Okay, be true to yourself. King of winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone professional, objective. Okay, public speaking and unemotional relationships. Yeah, that's what they're talking about. You've got to keep your peace in this situation. What is going to bring you peace? And then it's going to work out for everybody here. What are you being called to journey to? Okay. And I've also got the crumbling. What are you clinging on to here? 
Again, this is about you, Libra. I'm gonna ask, oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so I have a Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse. All right. Maybe somebody is trying to get you to do something or see something that maybe uh, isn't aligned with you because I have this eight of materials in the reverse, seven of emotions and the moon coming up in the reverse. Okay, this is a test for you. This is this is testing your emotional. Um, <laughs> how it's trying to see if you can stay balanced here. You're going to know if something is in alignment for you, it's going to feel good, right? Like, I don't necessarily mean everything feels good, right? But you are going to know if something is in um, alignment with you. I've got the five of emotions upside down, the 10 of voices. Here it comes. Okay, this is what they want you to see. You have got to speak your truth here. We've got a 10 of voices and a 10 of inspiration. This is about you speaking your truth, not staying in the shadows any longer. Okay, this is about what is best for you. This is about the tribe. Okay. Uh, some of you could possibly be trying to help some other people out here. And maybe you're going about it in a very, um, I want to say kind of like a rigid way. You're being called to see past the illusion here. Okay. Some of you, again, like I said, this could be about a partnership. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing if you take some time out to really ground yourself and get back into alignment, you're going to see what you need to see here. Okay. Yeah. Bringing in a little bit of that crone wisdom. Hope this has been helpful, Libra. Please take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, oh, yeah, check out the description box for some offerings too. As always, be kind out there.